I was definitely interested in a, in a character that is kind of broken by something or has a scar because of something that I I'm not I'm not trying to explain why, uh, but I'm more interested in what happens with the with the surrounding, with the people, with friendships, with close relationships. What it takes away from her is there a place for a romantic relationship, or is it so exhausted in this? Or in this constant basic, um, how do we say, basic um, um, need, like need for sleep is like our basic need in this hierarchy of needs. If it's if it's not um, um, if we uh, met or if it's not fulfilled, there is a kind of existential struggle in it. And so, on the surface, she seems to work, and she is even a very good fencer. And this adrenaline uh, levels next day be due to the exist existential, like this this fight of biochemistry in your body because you don't sleep is so strong that she's really uh, motivating all her vital powers and is a good fencer. And I can definitely confirm that it works <laughs> um, like this to some extent for, for some time. And then it's, yeah. also, it's also very unhealthy. But uh, this is, uh, I'm... I'm I'm working with, with visibilities, like I'm putting some visible frames together in order to to say something that is um, unspeakable, something that we cannot tell, like her feeling about her her place now in in this in this reality. And um, but but she tries her best to adapt somehow to organize herself just to get to get what she needs. Um, and I think she's very good at developing some strategies <laughs> how to get there. And um, hopefully I managed to um, to find empathy for her, like the way I, I, I introduced her to, to the, in this story and how, what I give to the viewers on this journey so that they can forgive her and go with her and understand that in a more empathetic way because she definitely gets on the on, on other people's nerves her best friend included her colleagues from the uh, fencing club included her father probably too can you tell us a bit about because we read that that you have so much experience in 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 modern dance and how that actually influences your work and for this film especially how did you i mean did that influence um, the way you work with your protagonist, with the main characters, um, actress, how did you, did, did that influence your work? Mm, I think more like my, uh, it's contemporary dance, it's not modern dance, the contemporary Sorry. is more, more postmodern, <laughs> yeah. and just say no to modern and ballet. Um, it's a more physical theater I have experience with, which is oh. the context of contemporary dance, but it's definitely only complementary to everything what I've learned during my film studies and working with actors. But definitely what I discovered for myself, like what are my tools for, for me as a filmmaker that work um, in work in, on my way to, to, to truthfulness. Um, is definitely, uh, I like this physical approach, like more body, like physicality, what, what characters do, how they touch or how they, how they, um, react with, with people, with reality through gestures, small gestures. In my eyes, what gives the film its uh, very unique atmosphere in a way is the, very quiet and very kind of matter of fact aesthetic style so for me it was like there are no fancy highly stylized compositions there's almost no music um, except for a little humming and a lot of breathing so, so a lot of atmospheric noises like car tires on the rubble um, can you tell us a bit about your stylistic choices for, for this movie yes it was definitely i was trying to believe to stay very close to her and and stay with her in her most in the loudest and most silent scenes so the most loudest scene would be definitely definitely the collective scene with the fencers how she what's happening there um and then very silent scenes while being only with her but uh, for example, with um, making a smoothie for her and Max uh, in her idea to, to bring him something which is a healthy green smoothie, as we are told, it's very healthy. Uh, I wanted to be very the loudest scene in the film, um, just to 
break it and at the same time show her for a moment a bit of an you know, autistic way uh, mm -hmm. and then um, and, and this autistic moment comes back when she's to me in my understanding the scene a bit suicidal while trying to go on the road I guess or trying to tease the driver whatever he means whatever the you are reads it's something that is kind of um um going beyond some boundaries trespassing some boundaries trying to 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 taste life more and be more 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 than this struggle that she feels uh, of course i wanted to be more isolated uh, in the set design the way she feels should be mirrored in the set design um, so there are those moments also of isolated moments of her with people she needs something from which is staying at their place and and um and observing them or just having this agenda of could i stay at your place tonight so those moments are usually very very lonely and very silent but we hear a lot of crickets uh, the noises of of the night that uh, through this subjective way of reading the night the night is always somehow more dangerous uh, they 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 I wanted to play a bit with the thriller-like elements um, because th this whole disease is a bit like a thriller to, you know, in somebody's life. And the last question, um, because uh, me suffering from, from insomnia for, for a very, very long time, um, I wonder, have you found something that helps you? Oh, yes. Pandemic. The pandemic just killed me. Um, yes, I found I was just... Uh, I went to, uh, practicing lots of yoga, meditation, and I'm just uh, having some rules that I cannot break because if I break them, I'm so my profession is very dangerous for that. Being the director is very triggering for like irregular times, breaking yeah. some rhythms. So it's I'm trying my best to keep some lots of structure. And this is the only time in my life that I well, having a Zoom at 11 uh, 20 <laughs> at night <laughs> just it's wondering what time is it <laughs> uh, but yes yes lavender drops mask yeah. on my yeah. eyes but i did lots of work i think uh, just i now sleep like a baby but uh, i feel for everybody who who cannot sleep really so thank you so much for taking your time and now switch off the computer yes. and the computer. <laughs> 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 oh, super. Okay, it was so nice talking to you Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank